If I was to describe how insurance is seen, this is me guessing how my colleagues see it, but at a certain level, insurance is just moving money around, right? Wage stream already moves money around a lot. So at a certain level, there is a view which is uh, it's just moving money with some different rules and some specific rules that guide how you can do that. But my experience of where we've gone so far is that's 90% true, right? It's 90% true that it's just moving money around. It's 90% true it's just the same as other products. But the last 10%, whether it be you know the intricacies of the ICOBS rules of the UK FSA regime or the control processes that you need or the edge customer cases that you have to consider, those large 10% are enough to drive you almost to the edge of insanity. So 90% fine, but don't underestimate the last 10% in insurance because it, it is challenging and it is challenging if it's not familiar territory, I would say. I would have rather said uh, 80-20, not that it makes a super difference, but it's two times uh, as big as the 10. Mm. And the reason is is uh, that there's a lot of complexity also depending on the regulation. So something relevant, for example, where I want to, to get uh, talking about embedded insurance or think also about you know large partnerships with OEMs, which is a bit more seen, probably less new, but also going in that direction. I mean, when you talk about MTPL, it's a super local product. Mm -hmm. I mean, in some markets, it seems like a tax. And the regulation is different even in markets where regulation would be supposed to be harmonized. And this means that that 10% of difference, then when you add the geographical complexity on top, it's at least 20 and it creates a level of complexity for your colleagues or you in general as counterparts that sometimes is very difficult to be understood. That's why I was saying before, insurance is not like anything else because this regulation, which sort of saves us still today, I mean, we have to be somehow thankful to regulation, mm -hmm. and not only finger pointing to them, but it's also something that has slowed down the level of innovation possible in the sector, including the service model. A long intervention just to say that sometimes things seen from the inside are much more complex. I'm, I'm sure you're aware because, I mean, you've, you've been one of us, no? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I get it. And I think that there's an interesting perspective when you look at it from the view of a single market, whether it's just the UK or just Italy or whatever, you can get your head around the, the rules and the norms and the way in which you navigate that market. When you try and do it across two markets, three markets, four markets, I agree with you that the 10% add up quite quickly.